in the cycle industry, new products and leaks and stuff of that are, are kept pretty well secret. Uh, but this article that came up just a couple days ago, this is one of the first times I've seen anything like this. Uh, just because of the way that I was listed, uh, the whole like like the whole portrayal of it, where it was listed at, and what the guy said. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about a guy went on Craigslist and went ahead and listed one of SRAM's new product that hasn't even been discussed yet, released yet. I'm a dealer for SRAM. I haven't even heard of what it's going to be around. But the whole the, the whole listing of it is like a slap in the face, I feel like the SRAM as is. And this could be a genuine like like post for, by the guy, or it could be maybe by one of the guys by SRAM who has it. But in today's video, like I said, we're going to talk about everything. By the way, this is my new GC Performance shirt that uh, one of my customers actually made me. It's like a podium jersey. It's like a real like like a mountain bike jersey quality. Um, if you're wondering if you can buy, it, I don't think so, because he said that he's not working with it anymore. But I do have a couple extras, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I have a total of ten. They're very tight, but it's like a mountain bike jersey almost. But I like it. I'm, this is gonna be my new computer chair wearing because it looks good i mean it makes my biceps look good everything like that looks good it looks solid um yeah it's an extra large very very nice looking so let me know what you guys think if you guys want to buy one you can't it's impossible unless you pay me like thousand dollars maybe 1200 we'll talk about it. anyways so let me zoom out my face this was linked to me in my discord if you guys didn't know i do have a discord for um, bicycle stuff. It's a whole thing. It's, it's listed down in my link below for my channel. If you guys ever want to talk about bikes, where to buy bikes, discussions, there's a great community around that. I think we have 800 people. Someone posted this and was like more of like a meme. It was like, Hey, GC performance. Have you seen this? Um, now I clicked on, I'm like, yo, that's a new, that's a new leak of XX one that's been around. And what I mean by this it says right here in the title, SRAM XX one axis, Bluetooth derailleur set, $725. And I'm looking at it, and it, at first off, if you just take a quick glance, you're like, that doesn't look like anything XX1 Eagle. That is, uh, that's just a hoax. Some guy's trying to scam you. But there have been leaked photos from 2022 season. Nino's been riding it. Some specialized riders have been riding it. The more you look into it, it's not marked. There's no XX1 on here. There's nothing on here like that. But the more you look into this, this is the exact same derail as in that photo. We have the direct mount rear derail hanger. We have the kind of recess in battery. We have this pulley wheel cage right here, the silver. Then we go back to this picture right here. We have the silver pulley wheel. We have the direct mount hanger and we have the battery cover. Now this looks more like a production model because it has the XX on there. It has the axis, it has the SRAM, it has all the logos. But when you go back to something like this, this is all shaven off, there's nothing here. And this is just a speculated updated version of the the previous xx1 axis version it's still a 12 speed from what we know it's still a wireless version they're using the same battery they're using the same gear range as well but what we're insinuating or what we're assuming is that it's going to be a lighter more dialed in version but with these pictures as well there it looks to be a redesign of the shifters so here we go here's the original posting from craigslist i mean literally the guy the guy who posted this is just on craigslist posted for 725 dollars and said this the, it's just like the either the ignorance of him not knowing that this really isn't it, or if it is a SRAM guy who has this and is just trying to load it off because he needs some money. Crazy me. It reads this. If you're looking to have some bragging rights in your bicycle crew, look no further. Top of the line SRAM line, high performance and lightweight, also very aesthetically pleasing. He's not wrong. This is how he got it, he says. I obtained this set in trade for a custom welding job I performed. And then he slaps SRAM. This is SRAM's <laughs> This is SRAM's flagship top line race stuff that the pros are riding. I prefer riding Shimano equipment, so I don't really have need for this equipment. Here's your chance to not break the bank and also be riding the best shifter and drill set that is on the market. So he prefers riding Shimano. He did a job for a uh, tradesman job for welding, maybe for a high end SRAM rec, uh, rep, maybe for some guy who works in the SRAM marketing development. I don't even know how that exchange happened. Like, like one, you're, you're embargoed to keep that derailleur quiet. You have it in your possession. And then you have a guy come out to do a welding job for you. Like, oh, yeah, here. You like mountain bikes? Here, take this. And the guy's like, well, I like Shimon anyways, so I don't want this. So he's going to post it. I mean, I'm sure that the guy, when he was handing it to him, he said, hey, just don't show the same one. 
So it just it it's so confusing to me. So I'm thinking that it, that someone just posted that is either with SRAM or working with SRAM, and I don't even know. I mean, just the whole thing. This post has now been taken down. I'm sure that the guy got take in contact with by the SRAM or the guy he sold to. But I just love how he digs in there. He's like, yeah, I prefer riding Shimano equipment, so I don't really have a need for this equipment. Like, you got the number one group set on the market. This, this RAM is dominating the mountain bike scene and nothing else. It included XX1 paddle shifter, which I'll show you guys the shifter in a second. XX1 rear derailleur, 12 speed, 52 tooth compatible, two batteries for rear derailleur, charger, charging cords. Do your research on retail of this. So now he's telling the consumers, do your research on retail of this. It's priced to sell, so miss me with your lowball offers, really, though. Can meet in Santa Cruz, so it's somewhere in California. But he's telling people look up the retail value of this item. There's no retail value. There's no prices. There's no name of this. There's no. There's no. You can't find any information on this product. So let's go ahead and take a look at his pictures. From what we see, it's an XX1 rear derailleur. It's a direct mount derailleur hanger, very similar to like what Shimano's been running and and everything like that. Um, let's go ahead and look at some of these pictures. This is very interesting. This is something brand new that we have not seen yet. This is a redesigned shifter for the XX1. Usually the XX1 axis was a paddle shifter. This has now isolated buttons up and down. You have a lot of adjustments for fits here, laterally back and forth. Looks like you have a pivot here as well. These are kind of center lines here. This button, I don't know what this is for. Maybe a quick release. Maybe they'll have different swap outs on there, but you can set these up for different brakes and matchmaking systems as well. So. Pretty cool stuff. What's that T25 for? I don't know what that T25 is tightening down. Maybe that T25 is tightening down here. I don't know what these buttons are for. Oh, that's probably the pairing button. That's a pairing button for the shifter to the rear derailleur. Uh, but yeah, looks like a whole new shifter on there. Probably trying to make the whole system lighter. Plastic is lighter. So in here, and then again, he has a whole production box for this thing. Again, we've only seen spy photos of this in terms of all logos off than that. So this means that one, they're probably ready to get close to market. And somehow you just can't part it. A derailleur, shifter, charge cable, batteries, charger. Battery and charger look the same. And then the original post. <coughs> it's mind blowing to me that this happened. I've been looking at this. I don't do my mountain bike scene on this on my channel isn't as big as it used to be when I first started the channel. I still love mountain bike stuff. Um, but it doesn't get as many views. But I've been following this. I've been waiting for this. I have customers asking me for this type of group set. Um so yeah, this this is the next big thing. The XX1 axis has been out for about three to four years, just like the SRAM red axis. It's time for update, time for refresh. And this, if this has any indication of what's going to come to road biking, like I said, they're going to take what they have, a, a really nice 12-speed product that's really, really nice, and they're just going to refine it. They're going to polish it. They're going to make it lighter. They're going to make it more efficient. You can see here, this is a more um, lighter weight chain. It looks like it has holes in here. It's a different cassette as well different derailleurs, so I'm sure it's going to be nice and snappy on there. But yeah, I had to show that to you guys because, man, in all the years I've been biking, yes, I've seen some embargo slips, but never like a post of a selling. I've seen pictures of it, like someone snapped this picture over there. But this man just said, yo, I need them. <laughs> this man said, yo, I did a welding job. Trade me that derailleur. I'm going to sell it. <laughs> it's like... And then even in the post, he's like, you don't even need, you don't even need to add your ride Shimano. Just put the damn product in there. It's just a cluster mess, man. But let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, it looks like we have some new product coming out from SRAM for mountain biking. So uh, this is on Pink Bike. You guys want to take a look at it and show your friends off. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, here's also some early production as well. These are on a lot of pro riders bikes. But again, there's been no news from SRAM. They have not confirmed nor denied it. Um, but we will see what happens. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.